might just take a little different approach, a little more simple approach, a little more direct approach for sure. So tonight I'm just going to give you some things that I believe make sense in every single area of your life. I'm not going to talk to you about debt and all that stupid stuff. I mean, everybody ought to know enough at this point to get out of debt. Holy crap, spend less than you earn, period. I mean, really, come on. It's none of the stuff's all that hard. I mean, really. So tonight, simple ideas. Everybody ready? Very simple ideas. I told you I only found 18 good ideas in the whole world. But it's the simple ideas that make the di biggest difference. Not the hard stuff, the simple stuff. I'm a big believer in simple things. I was standing on my front porch one night, and I have two boys. How many of y'all are parents? How many of you had parents? That all get just about all of you. We were standing out there, and we were watching a big thundercloud come in, and my younger son said, Dad, do you realize that cloud right there is 97% water? I didn't know that. Guess he had learned that in junior high school, and he thought it was a good time to share it with me. Didn't really think too much about it until a few weeks later I was doing some reading, and I read that a watermelon is 94% water. Did you all realize that a watermelon missed being a thundercloud by only 3%? They see, that's not a big difference, but it makes a big difference. It's the simple stuff that makes the biggest difference. So tonight, just talk about some simple stuff. And I really to want to start off tonight by taking you back to the very first set of questions that I asked when I walked out here. How many of you are ready to be more successful? How many of you are ready to make more money? And how many of you are ready to have more fun in life? And every single one of you said, you bet. Isn't that right? Yeah. That's how it works. You bet. Well, here's my take on that. No, you aren't. You are not ready to do any of those things. How many of you are 100% satisfied with every single area of your life? I mean 100% satisfied with every single area of your life. How many of you right now? One person. The rest of you? You're lying. You're 100% satisfied with your life exactly the way it is. Otherwise, it would be different. <laughs> your life's the way it is because that's the way you want it to be. And people go, uh-uh, Larry, uh-huh. That's how it really is. Let me show you. I don't often use flip charts, but I'm going to write a couple of things down. I came out of here, and I said, how many of you are ready? Everybody is ready. There's an old saying. It goes, ready, willing, and able. How many people are ready to be more successful? Everybody says, oh, you bet. How many people are able to be success, more successful? Every single one of you is able to be more successful. Isn't that right? How many people are willing to be more successful? Let me tell you right now, not very many. Not very many. I do this for a living every single day of my life. I've spoken to 400 of the Fortune 500 companies over the last 19 years. I spend 250 days on a year on the road talking to big old groups about what it takes to be successful. I see people stand in line and buy books, and I, God love them, I appreciate it when they all buy mine. But I can tell you right now, it doesn't make any difference. You all stood in line today to buy people's stuff, and let me tell you right now, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't. You're going, oh, very, don't tell me that now. I spent a lot of money today. <laughs> I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter, and here's why. While everybody can, everybody can be more successful, very few people will be more successful. That's what it really comes down to, because they're not willing to do whatever it takes. You've got to be willing to take action on whatever it takes. Isn't that right? And that's why most people aren't successful. Everybody could be successful. Very few people are successful simply because they won't do it. Not that they can't, they won't. Life is not made up of the haves and the have-nots. Life is made up of the will and the will-nots. 